Technetium versus Spyhole. Which one's better for blocking ads and tracking? So if you're trying to block ads and trackers across your entire network, two names always come up. Technetium and Pyhole are both a powerful DNS-based solutions, but they take different approaches. In this video, we'll break down how they compare in terms of setup performance, features and overall flexibility. All right, let's start with the setup. So Pyhole is the classic choice. It's open source, uh, lightweight, and usually installed on a Raspberry Pi or a Linux-based based system. Uh, the setup process involves a few terminal commands, and the web interface gives you clear control over blocked queries, allowed domains, and statistics. And Technetium, on the other hand, uh, is even easier for beginners. It's a Windows-based DNS server that comes with a simple installer, no command line needed. You just install it, open the dashboard, and you're ready to manage your DNS settings. It can also run on Linux or Mac OS, but Windows users will appreciate how plug and play it feels. So if you're more comfortable in a graphical environment, Technetium is more beginner friendly, but if you enjoy tinkering with Linux, Byhole still feels more traditional and DIY oriented. Now for features, Pyhole focuses mainly on ad and tracker blocking. It uses customizable block lists and can integrate with external lists like EasyList or Stephen Black's host file. Its interface shows detailed statistics like top blocked domains and query types. And uh, Technetium uh, DNS server uh, goes beyond that. It's a full DNS server, not just a blocker. You can configure custom DNS uh, zones, DHCP, DNS over HTTPS, and DNS over TLS, and even split DNS setups for internal networks. It's more of an enterprise-grade tool that also happens to handle ad blocking well when paired with block lists. So while Pyhole is laser-focused on privacy and ad blocking, Technetium gives you full network-level DNS control, perfect for those who want fine-grained customization. Now, in terms of performance, uh, Pyhole is extremely lightweight. It runs smoothly on a Raspberry Pi with just a few hundred megabytes of RAM. For small home networks, it's ideal. And uh, Technetium is still efficient, but slightly heavier because of its broader feature set. If you're running it on Windows or a home server, the difference is negligible, but on minimal hardware like Pi, Pyhole wins for simplicity and resource efficiency. In terms of privacy, both tools can route your DNS queries through encrypted resolvers like Cloudflare or Quad9. Pihole requires some configuration for DNS over HTTPS, while Technetium has it built in by default. When it comes to logs and privacy, uh, Pihole gives you control over what data is stored or flushed automatically. Uh, Technetium provides uh, detailed logs but is more oriented towards system administrators who want that level of visibility. Now, in terms of the community and support, uh, Pyhole has a huge open source community, lots of guides and integrations with third-party tools like Home Assistance. It's been around longer, so you'll find a ton of troubleshooting info online. And uh, Technetium's community is smaller, but growing. Its official documentation uh, is well-written and updates are frequent. The developer is quite active on GitHub, so support isn't lacking, just less widespread compared to Pyhole. So now let's talk about which one to choose. So go with Pyhole if you want a lightweight, uh, proven ad blocking solution that just works and is easy to integrate with your home setup. And choose Technetium if you want a full DNS server that gives you advanced control, encrypted DNS by default, and a clean Windows interface. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys, if you found this comparison helpful, give this video a like and let us know in the comments which one you are using, Technetium or Pyhole. Also don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to not miss new videos.